Hello everybody, today I'll be covering a video on things to note about echoes, especially when you're echo farming at this point, where most of, most of us are just farming for our gear. Uh, so there are a few things to cover that uh, you may already know or you may not know, so I uh, hope you guys learn something at least. Yep. So the first one is quite obvious, but not everyone really knows about it, which is the enhanced drop rate. So many people think, uh, yeah, the base drop rate, every time you kill, you get 20% chance to get an echo. But the enhanced drop rate, people think, oh, uh, I have 90% chance that it will be a 5 star, right? Someone, one of my friends complained to me that why are they getting constantly uh, 4 star rarity echoes? Uh, but that actually is here, where you can see it's actually 50-50. So what does this 90% mean? It means that uh, every week, night uh the first 15 mobs you kill uh at the start of the week will be 90 percent drop rate uh which you can actually see here they do explain it but it's not that apparent to everyone so do keep that in mind that your enhanced drop rate doesn't mean the rarity you're gonna get every time you kill an echo the next part is actually pretty interesting this was found out a while ago uh, quite re sorry, not a while ago. It's quite recent. Is that uh, enemies actually have uh, echo pity? So if you kill a certain amount of enemies, the next they will eventually give you a guaranteed echo drop, which is quite huge and it does affect your farming pattern. So for example, uh, if you wanna farm uh, a specifically a echo that you need for your team. So for example, I'm looking for. Maybe the Auto Puppet Scout Echo. And because there are a few of them, they're quite rare. Uh, you can actually min max your, your, your methods of farming it, you know? So, uh, right now, my PT is guaranteed. So, I will get an Echo once I kill this. And then I can show you again how it actually works. So, the PT for Elite Mobs are actually uh, one in every four. Uh, so the fourth time you kill an enemy, you will get, you will get the drop. So this is my fourth enemy, my fourth elite. Sorry, uh, bosses and bosses and uh, trash mobs have a different PT. So as you can see, I got it guaranteed. So how do I check my next PT? It goes back to zero. Now I have to kill three elites that I don't really need. So for example, let's kill three of the cars. So you can do this for. You can do this for every mob that can drop an echo. Uh, bosses is two. I'm not sure what is uh, the normal mobs. So as you can see, I already got an echo here again, but it does not matter. So the PT will still count to one. If you get an echo early, that's good. Oh good, there's, there's two right here. So I got it again, but now the next one I kill will definitely drop, even though I have dropped two in advance, uh, because that's just how the PT works. So let's say I want my auto puppet scout again. See? I am always guaranteed. So make sure to count 1, 2, 3, and then the fourth one will always be your guaranteed for elites. And elites are the most important because they are the ones that give you your your damage bonus, which is there's more variety and thus it's harder to farm. You may get a lot of fodder ones that might not be the right rarity. And uh, it's just more effective for you to farm. So I hope everyone uh, can abuse that. I, I wouldn't say abuse, but take note of that. It's very useful, especially for farming for a specific character. It also means you're, you have to farm less a day, you know? It gets less grindy. Okay, so the next one, 
uh, it will be covering the reroll system uh, for the echoes, the data merge. Uh, this is quite abusable. I mean, not uh, not really abusable, but it's very very useful early on when you don't have echoes. So I will only recommend using this once you are at least data bank fifteen, because that's where you unlock uh, five star echoes. Yeah, that's where you unlock 5 star echoes and it scales with your data bank level. So you will get 5 star echoes once you are data bank 15 from this. And the cool thing is, you can use your very very low level echoes, such as your green echoes, and it will give you a 5 star echo. Uh, let's see if I can get one. For now, it give me a 4 star, but it can give you a 5 star once you do hit it, which is should be 50-50. There we go, 5 star echo. And uh, it even gives you 5 star echoes of echoes you have not collected. So it's a very abusable way to raise up your data bank all the way uh, the moment you hit 15. Because it gives you a lot of it gives you a lot of the echoes that you probably haven't gotten uh, for free. And other than that, it's very important to Reroll because you can make use of all the four stars you got because you don't want four stars anymore. Uh, and it will give you only the trash mobs. Sorry, only the overworld mobs. It will not give you boss mobs, uh, which is both good and bad because boss echoes are the only ones you can farm forever. So it is useful, and you can use boss echoes to actually. Uh, yeah, to put it and reroll. So technically, you can farm everything infinitely because you can farm bosses infinitely. Uh, but yeah, it's very useful and uh, very good for getting rid of the unwanted echoes. See, you might even get extra. And uh, yeah, do abuse this when you are data bank fifteen, so you can get your five star echoes very early on. So the next one is that uh, do know what your echo do. Uh, your echoes vary from their 3 to 4 to 1 cost. Uh, the typical is 4 cost, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1. And then you usually have your 4 cost on the on your character. But it is important to note what your echo does. Some of them may just be passives like that. Uh, some of them may have multiple abilities. That is the standard ability. And uh, some of them may be very quick. Yeah, it is important to know. Some of them do have different moves depending on what you do. So if I can get to use this echo again, you can see. Uh, I think many of us should really know that the Heron has two abilities. But if you hold down Q, you can do the breath mode. Not necessarily useful, but it is important to note in case you accidentally hold it in. And uh, yeah. Uh, it is important to note that you can also swap them around and you want to affect your stats. So some echoes may be on field for too long that you don't really want to use it because uh, it may lower your damage or it may affect uh, risk you getting hit because you're not immune. So like this echo is on field for too long, maybe. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, so it's up to you how you want to customize your echo preferences. You may even use a one star echo but it's not really recommended so far. So yeah, uh, do mess around with it and do take note what they do. And uh, lastly, you should know that uh, it is very important early on to save your enhancers for your echoes because the only thing that's not infinite in this game is your energy and the only thing that's preventing you from infinitely farming echoes is your tuning material as well as your level up material for your echoes. Uh, as you can see, I'm more or less empty. I'm low. Uh, you can pick this mostly from chests, so early on you will have a lot. But do know that it is limited and you will have to spend energy eventually. So prioritize who you want to level up first for your echo. Most importantly is probably your carries. Your carries should have uh, their echoes max first for more damage. And then maybe your secondary carry or your sub uh, carry. Then your healer should be last. 
but I think it's important to give them at least the set for buffing because buffs are the most important yeah uh, so it's important to save your enhancers save your tuners early on I recommend you do not uh, re-roll like say if you just get your echoes to plus 25 and uh, don't bother re-rolling them yet uh, if you do see that they have bad you can roll the substats uh, for that first plus 25 echo you get but if it's terrible like this one you can you can uh, choose not to you can choose to save the tune materials uh, but most of the time they will help you out and uh, it's not that big of a difference if you don't so yeah uh, do conserve and plan your tuning materials uh, to maximize your gains uh, only when you have say everyone is plus 25 uh, you no longer need to enhance you can start re-rolling your stats then yeah go ahead and uh, re-roll your echoes uh, but personally uh, I would save it to at least you have six people so two full teams with plus 25 echoes before you really re-roll unless you don't plan on using two teams for now adversity uh, stuff like that and you just want to uh, make your carry as strong as possible so uh, yeah that is all the things as far as I know regarding echo farming and how to make it easier as well as uh, how to make uh, make it more efficient so I hope uh, everyone enjoyed this video found it useful and uh, hope you have a nice day bye bye